In 2108, humanity began colonizing the stars. Their reach would eventually span a vast region of space known as the Inner Sphere. During its golden age, under the governance of the Star League, the Inner Sphere experienced unprecedented peace, prosperity, and technological advancement. But with a great rise comes a great fall. Beset by greed and mistrust, humanity splintered. The Star League crumpled. Technological advancement slowed. The great houses, each vying for supremacy, turned on one another, engaging in a series of conflicts known as the Succession Wars. Amidst this chaos, mercenaries became the proxy forces for the great houses. Numerous battlefields sprung up across the inner sphere, dominated by hulking war machines known as Battle Mechs. The year is now 3015, and these steel behemoths have become the tools of the mercenaries' trade. It's a lucrative time, yet one beset with perils of all kinds. Only the most skilled and brave among them will rise to become legend.
on, everyone's waiting. Get to the Centurion at the far end of the hangar and we'll get started. Son, Fahad wants us to run the Centurion through its paces to see how it does. He spent months getting it operational again after we recovered it from that ruined factory on Ramen 2. What a bloody shit all that place was. Hopefully nothing explodes during the test, mate. I'm pretty confident you won't need to eject. No promises, though, eh? He's joking. I think. Go on and power her up. Real Good. Bod? Sensors online. Yeah, bringing up the systems now. Online. Okay, armor and structure display up. Weapon systems up. Tactical display up. Everything looks good to go. Keep in mind there's parts on that mech that are at least 200 years old. So ease it forward slowly and we'll see how it goes. And don't forget to hit the brake once you're clear of the hangar. Look at her go, eh? That's my girl. She's a beauty, isn't she? Certainly is. Okay, engage reverse throttle and navigate into the waypoint I've set up. Use your tactical display to see where you're going. Nice work. Now revert to your drone cam. Let's go ahead and do a left-right rotation test. Okay, now let's make sure the torso is working properly. Try looking around in all directions. Good. As you can see, the torso rotates independently from the legs. Your direction of movement, therefore, may differ from the direction you're actually looking. If you check your tack screen, you can see your current leg orientation is represented by the dotted line, and your torso orientation is represented by the cone. Go ahead and try auto-aligning the torso with your legs. Excellent. Now move your torso to the left or right. Then try aligning your legs with the torso this time. Looking good. The mobility course is next. Show me how fast you can get through those turns while still hitting each of the waypoints.
Shearing was made to have a good balance between speed and firepower. All we have to do now is find out if the weapon systems work. Boy, what do you mean if the weapons work? You know how long I spent stripping each one of those components and putting them back together again? They'll bloody well work, mate. <laughs> you heard the man. Let's go shoot some stuff. Follow me. You know, back when I was your age, I once slammed the hunchback I was piloting right into my instructor's javelin. Oh man, was he pissed. Captain Nelson. Yeah, go ahead, Rihanna. Thought you'd want to know that all repairs to the Leopard have been completed. We're now spaceworthy and ready to take on our next contract. How's the kid faring? Huh. He's a natural, just like his old man. I see humility is still in short supply, as usual. Just don't break that mech. We need it in full working order. Hi. Always, my friend. <laughs> yeah, right. That's a lot of bollocks, isn't it? <laughs> All right. I've mapped the auto cannon to weapon group one. You're free to fire whenever you're ready. your reserves. You run out of shells in the middle of a firefight, it could be your last one. Lasers are mapped to weapon group two. Fire them when ready. All right, that's good enough. Those lasers generate significant heat. You can see the temperature readout next to your armor and structure display. All weapons generate heat when fired. You overheat your mech during a firefight, and it could trigger a shutdown, so keep that in mind. Now for the fun stuff. Long-range missiles are set to weapon group three. The target lock has been disabled for the moment, but never mind that. Just go ahead and fire at will. Well, as you can see, LRMs don't track unless you have a target lock on something. Yep, they're as dumb as a post without it. Well, let's try targeting a drone first, and this time before you fire your LRMs. Target acquired. Target. It makes a hell of a difference having that target lock, doesn't it? Next step is to test moving and firing at the same time. I've set up a series of aerial targets for you. Move through the aerial combat course as quickly as you can and shoot the drones down. I'll meet up with you on the other side.
acquired. Target destroyed. Take up a position by the barricade. Okay, I've projected three mechs, each with differing damage profiles. You should see them in the ravine below. Target the first one on your left. You can zoom in on the target for a more accurate shot, if you need to. Targeting and telemetry seem to be working. Note the center torso on that first mech. It's reading heavily damaged. Destroying the CT will destroy the mech no matter its relative condition. Go ahead and destroy the center torso. See that second mech? Both legs are heavily damaged. With one leg destroyed, mechs become easy targets. Both legs? <laughs> it's over for them. Take out both legs. Target acquired. Nicely done. The cockpit on that third mech is seriously damaged. It's a difficult shot to make, especially in the chaos of battle. But the fastest way to take out a mech is to eliminate the pilot. Go ahead and try shooting the cockpit. There you go. Now we're almost done. The battle simulation I've set up for you is the last hurdle. Follow me. You're gonna go head-to-head -head with an urban mech. They're slow and poorly armored. Perfect for this particular test. Should be a piece of cake for a pilot like you.
it a day. The Centurion seems fully fit and ready for battle. Let's head back. When we get back to the base, we'll buy Pod a few beers to say thanks. Yeah, of course we'll have to listen to him gripe about how rough we are on his battle mechs. Small price to pay, I suppose, for having one of the best mechanics in the entire inner sphere. Captain Mason, my sensors are showing multiple dropships inbound on our location. I'm showing over a dozen bogies. Captain, I think we're under attack. Let's go. We need to get back to the base. Get to the base now. I'm gonna try and draw them off. By yourself? We can fight them together. No. From what Rihanna says, there's too many of them. Don't worry, I'm just gonna distract them. I'll catch up with you. Now go! Commander, the base is under heavy bombardment. I've ordered a full evac. You need to hurry. Uh, yeah. Copy that. We've come for the coordinates. We know you have them. Give them to us, and your family is safe. I have no idea what you're talking about. Who are you? Is that really the way you want to play this? Seriously. Listen to her, Nikolai. It'd be a shame to have to kill your only son over what? A set of numbers. You've done your research, I see. But you're too late. Commander, I'm getting us out of here. 